I'm thrilled to be here today with two extraordinary women. I'm Zoraida Sambalin from NBC5 Chicago, and I am very proud to be a 2020 Research HERS ambassador. And this is Mr. Ali, who you are gonna hear a lot of throughout this interview. And I'm Sophia Hobbs. I'm supporting my mom as a part of the 2020 Research HERS ambassadors. <laughs> We're gonna try. <laughs> Maybe we'll start with uh, asking you, Zoraida, you know, with everything going on, you know, right now in our world, um, it's a crazy, crazy time. So, you know, what is it about researchers that makes it a mission that people need to pay attention to? Well, I think that um, right now we're hyper-focused on this pandemic um, and trying to make sure that everybody's safe, which I think is wonderful. It should be front and center in our top news story every day. But unfortunately, then things that are terribly important in this world also are getting, are getting lost um, in that story. And so to me, making sure that we're still focused on cancer, on research, on women in research is terribly important because these are missions um, that we have to be committed to. You can't take a break. You have to stay on track and on focus and on message because cancer um, doesn't go away. It doesn't, you can't press a pause button on cancer. It just continues to happen and it just decimates and devastates lives and families. And so just like COVID is doing that, cancer mm -hmm. is still doing that. And even more complicated right now for people who are suffering through cancer and treatment, for them to navigate this craziness. So to me, it's really important that we, that we focus on this. Um, and I've always been an advocate of women, and I'm so excited that, you know, you are here today talking to us, because that's my mission as I'm raising, you know, this one here, and, um, you know, guiding her on the path. So women like you are great examples for her. Uh, well, thank you. I, I, and I'm thrilled to hear, a little birdie told me, that Sophia, that you might be interested in a career in STEM in some way. Can you tell me more about that? What are you, what are you thinking? Um, well, I'm especially interested in neuroscience and the brain. Um, I think what excites me the most about it is uh, how much I don't know about it because um, it makes me excited and it fuels me to want to know more and to be able to be the change that we all want to see. Are there any scientists or, or uh, people in the research world, um, you know, or scientists that you've heard about that you're like, wow, I would love to be like them someday? Well, Anyone we, come to mind? Oh, sorry. As we were watching the coronavirus updates, Dr. Azike, um, she's definitely been a big inspiration for me as um, a strong black woman um, in the research field. Um, I would love to be like her someday. She's able to speak both Spanish and English, which I'm able to do too. So it excites me that that could be my future too. And the, um, a lot of the doctors and nurses that are working on the front line right now, um, to help keep us safe and healthy and to just protect us. It's, it's so beautiful to see um, their selflessness and the way that they care for other people. Um, I strive to be like that one day, so they're my biggest inspirations. I think um, we're gonna be like standing back and watching all of your success um, and just being in awe. So uh, that's fantastic. So Zoraida, besides your future scientist right next to you, um, what is your why for joining the American Cancer Society in this effort in the researchers movement? I know you talked about empowering women and supporting women in, in STEM, but what else makes this personal for you? So, um for me, I think that historically, we're talking right now about the, about the Black Lives Matter movement a lot and empowering people to own who they are, to be able to be who they are and respected for who they are. And I feel that we need to do the same for women. And um, we cannot give up that fight because there is no equality there yet and there hasn't been enough opportunity. I know that we're headed in that direction, but um, I personally believe in, I don't, I don't know, maybe this is not the politically correct thing to say, but I just believe that women have a different sensibility that they bring to the table. And you see it oftentimes. Um, and I've been interviewing a lot of female doctors lately, and there's just something 
and I can't put my finger on it. Um, and this is not to diminish the accomplishments or what you know uh, male doctors bring to the table and male researchers, but there is just something innate um, in their being that I think um, we just need to open doors and to just step back and watch what happens. But those doors have to be opened and we have to continue focusing on that. Um, and we have to listen and then guide and motivate. And that's what I do with my daughter because, again, she's, you know, being modest. Part of what fuels her is, um, you know, my dad was diagnosed with dementia. And, um, you know, she ended up really interested in why that happened and the, the short-term memory loss. And, you know, how can we figure that puzzle out? And so to me, being able to support that, um, it's not the way my brain operates, quite frankly, and it excites me when somebody does. And I just think, wow, and a female to want to solve those problems. I say have at it because there's something about the heart that is just different. It's just different. And I really appreciate that. And I want to be a part of that. I may not be able to contribute much with my brain power, but <laughs> I would love to be a part. I am so grateful to have you help spread the word about researchers and the innovative work and dedication and life-saving breakthroughs that our world's best and brightest uh, American Cancer Society funded researchers are doing because um, as you said at the outset, cancer hasn't stopped, unfortunately, um, and so we won't either. So um, thank you all so, so much. No, I hope we raise a lot of money because um you know, that's, that's what moves things forward, right? Um, the, the heart and then the money go hand in hand. So that's definitely Absolutely. that we're committed to. Absolutely. Well, thank you all so much.